everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at a little demo that shows a little uh, 3D model dinosaur using Ethwall. Now, Ethwall allows you to get instant augmented reality uh, for any website. And here I'm just uh, going over the website. And as you can see, this is the dino. And below it, you're going to see a QR code, which is going to allow me to launch uh, a specific URL where the experience resides. Now the iOS camera uh, detects this automatically. I don't need to install any QR code reader. Same goes to Android. Uh, and then uh, I just click and it launches the experience. This is a very seamless way to allow users to consume uh, augmented reality content and view the virtual content uh, on their device without installing any specific um, app. Uh, once the model is loaded, uh, the Slam engine kicks in and uh, it just position uh, this dino, little dino 3D model in a default location. But of course I can move it around, just tap on it and drag it and I can drag it onto surfaces. Now you can see where this goes. Uh, you can also do product visualization and uh, deliver any types of uh, visual content uh, animated with other complementary uh, uh, data uh, for users uh, to consume it through a web interface. Of course, because it's web-based, you can also add different types of interactions uh, and sounds, etc. You know, whatever you do with a standard web page, you can actually do with this one as well. As you can see, all of that, uh, the viewing experience and the interaction is done uh, through the browser. You don't need even to get out of the mobile browser. As for web browser requirement, it works uh, on uh, right now on iOS and Android, iOS uh, 11 or newer, and Android uh, Chrome, Chrome variants, and uh, Firefox. So how it works, I'm going to read it from uh, eighthworld.com website. Uh, how it works, uh, built entirely using standard compliant JavaScript and WebGL, uh, Eighthworld Web is complete implementation of uh, Eighthworld's uh, simultaneous localization and mapping, uh, SLAM engine, uh, hyper-optimized for real-time AR on mobile browsers, featured include, include six degrees of freedom tracking, surface estimation, lighting, world points, and heat tests. Now, as you can see in this specific demo, at the top left you can see a square icon. This allows you to uh, uh, maximize the size of the window without seeing the, uh, the bar, the top bar of the browser. At the top right, uh, there's a link that you can uh, link to, uh, you know, in this case, just links to 8th wall uh, Twitter page, Twitter account. And uh, at the bottom below, you can see a kind of a um, location icon. Uh, this allows you to reposition uh, the dyno uh, in a default location. And there is a shutter button uh, at the bottom that you can see uh, when you press it, it just uh, captured an image of what you see uh, in front of you in the window uh, without the other user interface elements. Uh, I was testing it and it was very uh, smooth. Uh, the performance was very good without any jitterness, really uh, accurate. Uh, looks really great. Now, as a web developer, I'm really excited about it and I have some ideas that I want to do with this and I'm probably going to uh, make them in the upcoming weeks and going to share it with you. Here you can see me testing out two things. Uh, first of all, I wanted to take a picture. I just pressed the shutter button and it captured an image again without the uh, icons and the, and the browser top bar. Very clean. Uh, and then I just uh, touch and hold it to save it uh, locally. I also can copy it and paste it anywhere else in another app. And then I tested the link. So I just click the link, uh, the follow us link for um, eighth wall. And then it brings me to the Twitter page uh, of eighth wall. Now this is an amazing technology that uh, allows uh, augmented reality to be used uh, comfortably and seamlessly uh, through the web. And uh, of course, I'm seeing it uh, used, uh, first of all, mainly for product visualization. Of course, it's not limited to product visualization and uh, you can just create anything you like uh, using their SDK. Uh, and the main difference, of course, is instead of viewing it in a standard web page, uh, you're going to view it uh, in augmented reality and whatever you create with it, uh, it's up to you. Uh, the possibilities are endless. 
So this is it. Uh, of course, I'm going to spend more time with Eighth Wall and I'm going to share with you my experience with it and try to create things of my own. Uh, and soon, I think in the uh, upcoming weeks, I'm going to share with you some of my creations. Uh, so until then, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Uh, thanks. Bye bye.